Okay, so um, here's our second example of finding the uh, domain of a function uh, represented by a graph. Um, so um, again, to find the domain, we want to find uh, the set of um, numbers that we can use as input uh, to the function uh, that will give us a meaningful output value. So we want to find uh, the values for x here uh, that we can use as um, inputs to this function. Uh, that will result in meaningful uh, or, uh, in other words, real number output values. So if we um, sort of uh, scan here um, uh, the graph from left to right, uh, it's pretty clear that uh, we cannot use uh, an input uh, number less than um, minus 7. This is minus 7 on the graph. I believe the scale here of this graphing window is 1. So we cannot use a... Um, um, uh, an input number less than minus 7 because um, if you try using a number less than minus 7 as input that won't uh, result in a meaningful output value. And likewise here on the right um, it's clear we can't use an input number larger than 4 uh, because if we try to use an input number larger than 4 uh, we won't get uh, a matching output value um, for inputs larger than 4. Uh, so the domain of this um, uh, function is going to be numbers from minus 7 to 4. And um, both of these boundary values, minus 7 um, on the left and uh, 4 on the right, are going to be included in the domain. And uh, that's indicated by the closed dots here uh, that are plotted at uh, uh, this point uh, on the left that corresponds to uh, minus uh, 7, an x value of minus 7. And um, also, since we have a closed dot here plotted, uh, at this uh, value on the right that corresponds to an x value of 4. That means that both uh, minus 7 is in the domain and uh, positive 4 uh, uh, also is in the domain, uh, in addition to being boundary values for the domain. Uh, that's, the why the, uh, that's why the graph was drawn like this with the closed dots uh, to make it clear uh, to us, the reader, uh, that minus 7 is in the domain, uh, in addition to being a boundary value for the domain, and positive 4 also is in the domain. Uh, in addition to being a boundary value for the domain. Um, so we can write out the domain then uh, using an inequality. Uh, our domain is going to um, extend from uh, minus 7 uh, on the left. So uh, numbers, uh, uh, we can use uh, uh, inputs uh, for x here that are greater than or equal to minus 7. Uh, and then the domain extends up to positive 4 on the right. So um, uh, our inputs have to be less than or equal to uh, positive 4. Uh, so there's our domain uh, written as an inequality. Uh, number, we can use uh, uh, inputs x that are greater than or equal to minus 7, but at the same time less than or equal to uh, positive 4.